So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Fahad Muhammad for scoring a great rank of 158 uh, in super speciality for uh, DM uh, General Medical Group in NEET SS session 2023. Congratulations and best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Great. Uh, Wonderful achievement. Thank you, sir. So first of all, I would like to take this moment to uh, acknowledge Almighty God and my parents, all the teachers, my colleagues and uh, juniors have uh, helped me to get across this. And of course, uh, all the faculties of sweet, sir. Very, very nice, doctor, to have you today. And also, we want to know your brief background from where you started your career till date. What all you uh, So myself, uh, Dr. Fahad Mohammed, I'm from uh, Kochi, Kerala. I did my UG from uh, Mysore Medical College. Uh, I'm a 2011 batch and I did my PG from uh, North Bengal Medical College, Darjeeling, sir. <laughs> and uh, currently, uh, sir, I'm working as a faculty in uh, Malabar Medical College, Calicut, sir. So, where you started, you went to Mysore, uh, then <laughs> you went to Darjeeling, huh? Yes, sir. And, and back to Malabar, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's been almost 13 years, I think, I've been out of my home. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great journey, huh? Yeah, sir. So, I think then you would have seen various people and uh, yeah. languages also you would have learnt. Yes, sir. <laughs> huh? Yes, sir. So, the, by the time I think uh, you will also have added uh, uh, Canada and also uh, to also to some extent to Bengali. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good, very good, very nice. So, now uh, can you tell us uh, what speciality you were aiming at in super speciality in India? Uh, sir, uh... It was either endocrine or to stay in general medicine, sir. Nothing else, sir. Uh, so, I endocrine is a primary. Take, yeah, sir. Uh, or general, I was planning to stay in uh, general, general medicine, sir. I was not looking for other services. Yeah. I heard this, actually. The people who have a lot of passion for general medicine, they don't migrate out of it. They will just stay with it. In case they want to migrate, they do only endocrinology. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why I took medicine was not because I liked endocrine or it was all all medicine. So <laughs> it's actually uh, with a lot of pain <laughs> moving out of general medicine, but it will be always there, sir. <laughs> no, no, see, because endocrinology is a broader uh, general medicine, actually. See, it covers head to foot. There's endocrinology. Yeah. So people have told me in interviews, sir, it is that I want to do a DM, but I want to be in the space of uh, general medicine and do it and that is the only uh, uh, space that I want to work on. So, great. So, can we know from you how you started your preparation, what all you did to achieve what you did? Uh, sir, I actually was working as a faculty here since last uh, October and uh, I started my proper preparation from uh, May, May, June uh, and I have been preparing since then. So, first what I did was I tried to make a note. So I watched most of the speed videos and I tried to finish it within first one to two months. And uh, because of uh, lack of time and all, few subjects I had to just go through the PPT. So I just made a note. So that was the first uh, target to have a note. And that's just did my revision. I tried to do at least uh, two to three times revision. And meanwhile, I gave exams and uh, tried to do solve some as many as questions as possible, sir. And I think uh, doing many questions kind of help rather than just reading theory over and over again. I've been reading the theory since the last three, four years. So I think solving more questions and more uh, grant tests, I think, kind of helped me, sir. So how, much, how many hours you would have spared because you've been working uh, simultaneously? Uh, uh, sir, towards the end, I kind of took uh, uh, yeah. leave. Yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. So initially, I think I started like uh, morning 8. To evening nine or something i didn't sit like what i did for my pg preparation Not I did, yeah sir <laughs> it was very difficult to yeah um, sit and study i meanwhile i try to enjoy time with my family i think again if i go back to dm again i will be uh, i'm all i was already uh, out of my home so i enjoyed as much as time as with my parents also sir. meanwhile so i didn't take too much stress i did what i can that, that's what i did sir very very nice doctor now, um, can you tell me uh, how many questions did you attempt this exam? Uh, sir, I attempted uh, 144 questions. I left out the questions which I didn't know any of, any of the options. So, I attempted around 144, sir. So, what is the message that you want to give to the students who are aspiring for DM from your side? Uh, so, one thing is, again, uh, I didn't read Harrison again. 
what i went through was just the videos made the notes and when i felt i was lacking in certain areas of harrison i just took the table just just the tables only sir and one thing i did was i didn't just mug up the tables i went through the tables analyzed it uh, kind of made a, a shortcut or made some few important points out of the table i didn't uh, go from point to point just kind of made possible mcqs out of the table and just revised those things sir and i think uh, again at this point of time to go through harrison was not possible from my side so i just uh, stuck with the videos and the lecture and this the notes i made sir so videos uh, were manageable for you to attempt this exam so that thought uh, uh, difficulty and uh, so one thing i said was uh, they were not testing our harrison knowledge i think the entire uh, experience from our general medicine i think even even the mbbs knowledge also i think was helpful i didn't feel like uh, i could just sit and prepare and just go to go to the exam i think they were also testing our basic knowledge only sir correct and i i don't think if you just sit and study you can just crack just like that the previous knowledge also i think your experience i think also matters so it's and, a wisdom uh, it's experience and the wisdom that you have for medicine i think that's what they are looking for i guess correct. not the bookish knowledge i guess yeah it, obviously they have tested few facts and all those things but i think overall your experience and the knowledge you have in medicine is what they are te- uh, testing sir so time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they have helped you <laughs> to make your career till date when you, you can do so yes sir so like i said uh, i want to thank my parents my wife uh, she has been supporting all through and my all the teachers sir had uh, all the teachers my seniors my colleagues so it was a tough time also when i was saying i was uh, spending time with my family so few of my friends who were preparing along with me used to share our uh, experience and the troubles we had in so friends of, of course and last but not the least the speed faculty sir okay. for <laughs> and uh, especially uh, dr arun sir from rheumatology and dr azim sir i felt their videos were excellent sir their classes were concise and it was very useful sir definitely they will be happy uh... looking at yeah, the video of your feedback <laughs> and would have made that day also <laughs> so once again i bring in all the wishes and greetings from speed medical thank institute you, for to have a great thank career you. in endocrinology thank you sir. so when your dream branch let it come <laughs> through in your uh, institute of your preferred choice for thank that advanced wishes and congratulations to you thank you sir all the best thank you sir